go ahead and run it. Right now it's looking at the producials. Let me go ahead and dispense. You want you to come on the side over here. You might be able to get a better view What's the size now? For it As heavy as it is, you can still feel it move. Yeah, well, these weights aren't kind of locked down, so they move. We're, we're constantly docking and coming along with the so. Was that another rejection? Yeah, that one when it just shot back and that out for you. Yeah. It could be that when I picked up the part, uh, sometimes depending on the type of part or the small wool papers, sometimes it can tombstone, is what we call it, so it's on edge, and that's why it'll reject the part too. Right now it's using the upper camera to inspect the leads on that um, QFP, and I went ahead and placed it. Take the board off. There's a uh, switch located to the right of that feature base. You can just flip it down. Right. Okay, I'll, I'll let you do it. Okay, here's the switch. Just turn that switch off, and then the board will come right off. Oh, 
Oh, okay, so you got double-sided sticky tape, right? Yep. Very nice. So does it actually use the fiducials next to the uh, the footprints, like the Are those are called LKFB? local fiducials. Uh, that's an old school thing. Um, we don't. Uh, use them, they just use the uh, the board fiducials is what we use. Okay, so that's, just the... That's good enough for a single panel. Okay. Alright. You got a needle nose? I know, I got get cutters over here. Okay. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna just see how the front is like looks like it's been torn off. Mm -hmm. So I cut it at a slight angle and make sure I get it through one of the half of the, the hole there. I have a little section of tape, it's about uh, I don't know five, six inches long that has no parts in it. I'm going to load it up through the top of the, uh, there's two slots. I'm going to go through the top slot here. Push it in until it can't push it anymore. Then uh, using the red button, I'm going to go ahead and move it forward. Okay. And once I move it forward, I'm going to go ahead and take a pair of tweezers, grab that cover tape, and bring that cover tape back and through the uh, slot there. I'm gonna keep going until I got a good about. So I'm gonna go all the way around that take up reel. Just gonna come down in between the pinch roller and then right through that slot on the take up reel. And then I'm just gonna make one full revolution. You can either put a piece of tape on there to hold it where you can make one revolution and it'll go ahead and hold it. And once that's all done, then we just want to run your finger through the sensor, the index sensor on the top, um, and just make sure that the um, um, when it's going from one pocket to the next, it's only moving one part at a time, it's not moving two parts. Mm -hmm. If it's moving two parts, then you need to go back in there and then change the, the pocket indexing. And, and there's a, a flow chart, a uh, programming flow chart that tells you how to uh, program that. Okay, so you want to have enough parts removed from uh, the actual tape so that they don't start falling over right, right. in the machine. Correct. Yep. That's typically about six to eight inches long. That's a typical length. Just enough so that the take up, uh, the, the cover tape can get all the way back to the um, uh, take up reel back here. 